With us in the studio now is Bill Jacobs. Bill is product line manager with Apple. Next to Bill, Kerry Christian, author and research associate at the Rockefeller University in New York. Kerry, one of the problems with Unix in the past has been all these different versions, the homegrown versions and so forth. And uh, then there becomes problems with you know, things like the libraries and so forth, being able to pass one program to another Unix system. Um, now, is there any standardization uh, been, been taking place now recently? Well, there's quite a bit of standardization. In fact, there's really uh, too much of it because the system is broken into two separate camps. Uh -huh. And okay. we have on one side an alliance between AT&T, which is the originator of Unix with Sun, which is one of the major technical innovators in, the sun, in this area. Which was the open look version we saw at the beginning of the show. That's right. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, there's a fairly large group of companies that have are not pleased with this, they're afraid of the power going to these two companies to their, uh, to their detriment, and they formed another alliance called the Open Software Foundation, OSF. And in that group, you have IBM plus a number of the other very major players in this business. And that was the motif we just saw on that's the correct. HP machine. Right. What about Next Step uh, on the Next Machine? That's yet a third version, isn't it? Well, it's, it uses a product called Mach, which is a variant of Unix. It's, it's different enough from Unix that you would probably classify it as, as in a somewhat different category. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill, uh, you have a, this is the first machine we've actually seen on, on the table. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Mac 2X, and we really haven't seen that on the show yet. So okay. maybe you can just run us, take a, give us a look inside the box there. Okay. Before we the product the we have here is the, Mac, the new Macintosh 2CX. Uh, it is uh, Obviously fundamentally... Obviously smaller than the two. Mm -hmm. Fundamentally, um, the same electrical product in terms of uh, capabilities as the Macintosh 2X, except that by reducing the, uh, the number of slots, we've uh, greatly reduced the cost and thus the price of the machine. It is uh, a much more clean internal design, much more easy to install uh, things like hard disks, which simply snap in place and the cable connects. Even the power supply, there's no screws holding it in. It's held in uh, by plastic uh -huh, snap bosses. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. what we've done is not only reduce the, uh, the price of uh, the system through uh, fixing some of the RAM problems that the whole industry suffered under, but also also by building the machine, yeah. more simply, uh, reads his price. Okay, does, that, does that sacrifice anything in terms of performance? For no, this okay. is uh, uh, in terms of performance is exactly the same as the Macintosh 2CX. And uh, those 2X, you mean? This is the 2CX. Right? This is the 2CX. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, same performance as the Macintosh 2X, right. which is 10 to 20 percent greater than the Macintosh okay. 2 was. Now you're running uh, um, so what is a AUX you call it? Yes, what Apple's Unix product uh, mm -hmm. is AUX. Uh, so can you give us a demo? Sure. Uh, what we're going to demo here is something you've you've seen variants of already today. So I'll not belabor the point. This is a, a particular application called Magic. It uh, is a higher education product for designing designing integrated circuits, and represents fundamentally uh, one of the key uses of Unix today, and that is for technical professionals to mm -hmm. do the types of work they're involved in. Um, this is based on an X11.3 implementation. We mentioned X Windows is the underlying standard on which uh, OpenLook and Motif uh, uh -huh. will both be based. Um, this is a currently available product. We just introduced it uh, and started shipping it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, full X11.3 and runs on multiple screens. So What's the relationship here now? You're running Unix, AUX, mm -hmm. but are you, uh, where, how's the, re the relationship between the Mac operating system and Unix? What's going on inside? Okay. Uh, to show you that, what I'll just do here is exit uh, the X11 implementation and go show you uh, the other side of, of the fence for us here by exiting or attempting. Yeah, I guess you have to put the mouse in the box before <laughs> that works. <laughs> The X11 implementation uh, runs on the machine, and to, to exit that and then begin running Macintosh applications is, as you see, about 10 seconds. Uh -huh. We're now in a Unix terminal shell window, as most Unix users are fairly comfortable with. I've loaded up a set of applications here. Um, the important point about what I'm going to show you is these applications are not Unix applications. Um, the first one I should probably show is um, MacDraw 2. This is a Claris product. Mm -hmm. So you get out of the way of the screen there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. in, order to, uh, in order to run Claris MacDraw 2 on an AUX system, you simply go down to Egghead Software and you buy the version of MacDraw 2 that you buy for your Macintosh Plus, your Macintosh yeah. SE. From that, you move the files, the files for the product off the floppy onto the Unix hard disk and then run them there. So here's an example. And while you're doing that, though, what's the advantage of doing that, running it under Unix instead of just under the Macintosh? The crucial advantage is that the end user gets to run both the applications that he knows and loves from the Unix world and the personal productivity software uh -huh. of the Macintosh. And that's, we studied very carefully the technical user's world and what he does day to day, and he spends about 70 to 80 percent of his time doing writing, drawing, okay. presenting. So even though planning. he's a Unix techie, he has all these other things yeah. to do. So we're, you know, we're now in, uh, basically in a Macintosh application and have all the, uh, all the user interface of the Macintosh at our fingertips. Let's open a, uh, just a file here. 
Okay, and this is under MacDraw? These are MacDraw yeah. 2 files. This is some art that was created by an artist for some purpose and, and illustrates what you can do in MacDraw. Uh -huh. The key point is you can now do it on a Unix system um, from a $300 application right. instead of a $2,000 yeah, application. It. We only have about a half a minute left, Carrie, and I want to ask you to kind of summarize from the user's point of view. We've seen just in this half hour, you know, four different approaches to using Unix. What's a user to do here in terms of trying to get involved in the benefits of Unix? Well, there are a couple of things. Uh, one is that most uh, Unix systems are not being used in environments where there are no computers already. So you have to think about what you have. If you've got a shop that's been using Apple products, people are familiar with the Mac, AUX is a natural. Uh, on the same side, if you've got a company where it's coming in from the technical side, they may be familiar with many technical drafting applications like you'd have on a Sun system. Sun or HP or companies like that are also a natural. Mm -hmm. Uh, if people have heavy involvement in PCs, they've been using PC software, things like Xenix and VPIX yeah. are able to run the PC software in the way that AUX can run Mac software. So I think for most users, you need to go with the alliances that you're already familiar with, go mm -hmm. with some of these vendors. The other thing is to keep track of the numbers as best you can, because in this war of OSF, AT&T, uh, it's going to be determined by software vendors. Who writes, who gets the most applications on their product? Mm -hmm. And so if you look at the numbers six months from year, uh, now, a year from now, you should be able to tell uh, which of these two who's products is. Who's ahead in the race. Yeah, who's really winning in the marketplace. And okay. that's, that's going to determine it.